Welcome back to Unfold Data Science Friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. Continuing on the Hadoop components and architecture, this is the part 2 of the same series where I am going to explain about what is Hive, what is Pig, what is Zookeeper and what is Uzi from data access and data management point of view in Hadoop components. Okay? So, in my last video I had explained about what is HDFS, MapReduce and YARN from data storage and processing point of view. In this video, these two tools are used for data access and Uzi and Zookeeper is used for data management point of view. So what is Hive guys? Hive is first of all a RDBMS kind of system on top of Hadoop. So when I say RDBMS that is nothing but data in tabular form. Okay. So data will be kept in rows and columns and you can write a SQL query and fetch the data. That is what is the job of Hive. So Hive is a savior for all those people who do not want to get into Java part of entire Haroop ecosystem. So Hive is just like a SQL engine where you write SQL queries and get the output. What is Pig? Pig is another tool which runs on top of Haroop that is a high level scripting tool. Okay, High level scripting. What is the meaning of high level guys? Again, Pig is also a savior for you if you do not want to get into the Java coding of Haroop. Okay? So, Hive and Pig both will help you at high level and get your job done. So, how Pig scripts are written? I will give you a simple script how Pig script is written. So, let us say there is a file aman.txt. This file is sitting in HDFS. Okay? And aman.txt has let us say student ID, student roll number and student name. Okay? Second student, student roll number and student name. Like this data is sitting in file called aman.txt in HDFS. So how you can access that data in pig is you can use the pig script. A sample script will look like this. Load, load, load this file aman.txt aman.txt using using pig script pig script okay and then you assign your column names so here you can say id uh, roll number and name this is a very simple format very simple query in which a pig script is written to access the data sitting in HDFS. How a Hive script will be written? Very similar to how you write a SQL query. Select star from, select star from, let us say table name is Aman, Aman, where ID is greater than 45. So, Hive queries are very similar to SQL queries, but this is known as HQL, this language, Hive query language. And this language is known as Pig Latin. Okay, pig Latin. That is the high level difference between how Hive works and how pig works. This is a database kind of thing, this is a scripting kind of thing. We will see the examples when I show you the practicals. Okay? Before that, I also want you to understand what is meant by Uzi and Zookeeper. Okay? So many a times, guys, you will need to run the script in schedule. Okay? For example, for example, let us say there is a file a.py okay, and there is another file b.py. Two python files are here. You want to run these two python files one by one in Haroop cluster. Okay. So how you do it is you just schedule this in a workflow. Okay. So you say run a.py and then run b.py. Okay, so this way you can schedule, you can write the time when you want to run. For example, run this at 8 p.m. daily or run this at 10 p.m. daily. This way you can create a scheduler which will run every time you tell it to run or you set the frequency weekly, daily, monthly, whatever. This kind of arrangement is called a workflow and this is done in Haroop ecosystem using something known as Uzi. Okay? No need to go in more details of what all these things are. 
जस्ट ए हाई लेवल अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड वॉट इज जू कीपर गाइज जू कीपर इज अनदर कॉम्पोनेंट ऑन हडू विच विल हेल्प यू टू कंट्रोल और सिंक्रोनाइज द एंटायर क्लस्टर ओके सो जू कीपर जू कीपर इज अनदर कॉम्पोनेंट वेरी सिमिलर टू ओजी विच हेल्प यू इन क्लस्टर सिंक्रोनाइजेशन एंड क्लस्टर मैनेजमेंट क्लस्टर कॉन्फिग्रेशन मैनेजमेंट दो काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स ओजी एंड जू कीपर आर लेस यूजफुल फॉर यू एज ए डेटा साइंटिस्ट एंड हाइव पिग एच डी एफ एस मैप रिड्यूस दो थिंग्स आर मोर यूजफुल फॉर यू एज डेटा साइंटिस्ट दीज थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो गुड टू नो बट यू नीड यू मस्ट नो वॉट इज हाई वॉट इज पिग हाउ स्पार्क वर्क हाउ स्कूप वर्क हैविंग साइड ऑफ स्पार्क एंड स्कूप लेट मी टेल यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ वॉट इज स्पार्क एंड वॉट इज स्कूप ओके सो स्पार्क इज नथिंग बट इन मेमोरी क्लस्टर कंप्यूटिंग गाइज स्पार्क इज ए इन मेमोरी क्लस्टर कंप्यूटिंग सो स्पार्क इज अनदर टूल दैट रनस ऑन टॉप ऑफ हडूप एंड दैट इज इन मेमोरी जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस गाइज इन मेमोरी क्लस्टर कंप्यूटिंग okay the meaning of this is whatever the size of your memory so in your computer the size of your memory is let's say 4 gb so it will use the processing power of that 4 gb and the processing power of many nodes in the cluster will be used and hence hadoop is said to be very fast the computation happens in memory and it also supports the real time computation real time streaming data kind of thing okay and another another component i was talking about in hadoop ecosystem which you might use at times is known as scoop s q o o p okay so in scoop s q stands for sql and o o p stands for hadoop okay sql plus hadoop is equal to scoop the meaning of this is every time you want to transfer the data from an rdbms system to hdfs or every time you want to transfer the data from a hive system or anything in hdfs to an rdbms system let's say oracle mysql microsoft sql then you will use something known as scoop which is a to and fro so scoop will help you to get the data and push the data from the rdbms system to the rdbms system from hadoop okay we have spoken about many tools do not get confused guys all of these we will see with the example okay but believe me i am not talking anything extra here all these things are must to know things for a data scientist okay so whatever we have discussed hdfs yarn map reduce hive pig spark scoop uzi zookeeper this is enough for you to start okay this is enough for you to go in an interview and talk about hadoop ecosystem now i am sure you will forget this if i do not show you the practicals okay so for practicals one thing we need to understand guys hadoop always runs on an unix systems so hadoop is supported more on unix system also all the production environment are unix operating system so what we need to do for hadoop installation is we need to install unix operating system in our computer for some of you who is having unix well and good no problem but most of you will be using windows in your machine right windows if you are having windows in your machine and you want to run hdfs or hadoop on top of that then you need to install something known as a virtual box okay virtual box what is virtual box is it is a virtual environment on top of your windows machine which will give you the power to install other operating system on that and we will install inside a windows machine we will install a unix machine which we will be using for hadoop purpose i am also having a windows machine i will show you how to create a virtual box where unix will run and on this box only we will install hadoop and do all these practicals okay so in my next video i will walk you through the practical implementation of the very first step of hadoop which is installing a virtual box and installing hadoop in that box let me know what doubts you have till now guys these were theoretical concepts i did not go knowingly into more detail because that will confuse you still let me know if you have any doubts any queries i'll definitely respond to you 
I'll see you all in the next video guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. Share it in data science groups if you are getting benefited. That will benefit me a little bit as well. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then wherever you are stay safe and take care.